Well, hello, YouTubers. Hopefully everybody's doing great. Well, I'm back at it again today. And uh, today I'll be working on a uh, Expedition, a 2000. I've got to replace the uh, driver's side window. And also, I'm going to be replacing this mirror. Long story short, I uh, had a blowout and they kind of hit the concrete barrier and uh, a pole came up and hit the mirror mirror came back smacked the window glass broke the window glass out and i uh, did a little bit of damage but uh, really no not much in the way of body damage which is great just a couple of scratches and kind of bent the uh, running boards but we can straighten that out so uh, this is going to actually be two videos the first one has been shot on my cell phone and uh, over here is the glass i went and picked up the window glass and uh, luckily these here have little bolts that uh, you take out and uh, unscrew on my, um, I believe it was a uh, 2002 uh, Explorer. They rivet some of those in, so you got to be careful. But luckily I've got a uh, nut to put on there and I'll probably use the ones that are still on the door. And by the way, I did, I picked that up for like... Oh gosh, 35 bucks wasn't very much. So um, we're going to go ahead and do this mirror. And uh, now I went out and picked up another mirror. I want to replace both mirrors on this vehicle. Now they make, uh, you know, I never knew that Ford Explorers, well, mainly the uh, Expeditions, made three types of mirrors. They make one without heated, they make one with heated. And the one with heated, sometimes you get the little squiggly lines. But this one actually says heated. And also they make another one with a turn signal in the mirror, which I have never seen before. So my only concern is right now is, is this plug. I'm hoping this plug will work. If not, I'm not gonna worry about it right now because they need a mirror in order to drive this thing. And if we can't uh, make this work with the plug, at least they'll have a mirror on the vehicle for now. And we'll go out and get one later. So uh, that's my only issue right now. But other than that, here is the uh, three bolts that you, uh, put on here well actually these are these are studs and you screw the little nuts on here and uh, what we got to do first things first since this mirror is gone <laughs> we gotta go in here and we gotta start uh, kind of disassembling uh, some things and uh, let's see the first thing we've got to do is um, pop off this guy here and I lost it here so I'm gonna have to find it so I can show you guys um, what to do with it Okay, now here we go. Now basically, it's on here like this. You gotta pull uh, up like that. And as you pull up, there is a little release tab there. A little clip-like feature that fits down these holes. And right here, you have a little plastic uh, like washer deal that goes in right about there. And that's, what, that's all that holds that on. So the whole idea is you wanna kinda pull up on it. And uh, once you pull up on it, uh, we have to start taking this door panel off, which is not very involved. I'll go ahead and take this uh, screw out right here, Philip, because there's a set of wires for that mirror that runs down in here. We have to disconnect. And now we got to go over here and pop this guy up. And sometimes you have to use a uh, little screwdriver to get this up. And I've seen a lot of times where you end up breaking these anyway. The back clip back here always ends up breaking. And I think this one was broke anyway. Uh, let's see. Yep, you can see right there it is uh, broke. So uh, worry about that later. So what we got to do now is go ahead and pull all these wires out of here. And uh, just get this out of the way for now. And then there is a nut right here that we have to take a socket and get in here and get that. So tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead and pull this... Uh, cover off right here for this hard to do with one hand and the camera in the other all right that's out of the way and now we have access to that bolt right there that we got to take out and uh, then we can go ahead and pull this out of the way so I'm gonna have to set the camera down and take these uh, plugs off here all right I think I can get this off here now there we go okay that's out of the way and we'll just kind of let this wiring harness set there. And now we're going to take out this little guy right there. And it turns out this is a 516. Um, sometimes they're metric. It just really depends. You got to check and see what you're getting into. The reason we have to take this off is because it holds the door handle on and it will get in the way. There we go. 
and this will come off as one unit so we'll set that right there and now at this point we're just about ready to pull this panel off so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, check and I think there's a uh, I don't think that I think that's all the screws I know the other model I had it had a hidden couple screws on the bottom this one doesn't but I think we're ready to pull this panel off so uh, let's go ahead and try that <clears throat> All right, before I get too far ahead of myself, we got to pop this out of here. I forgot about this guy. There's a wire that goes down in here, and this will kind of hold you up. And then there is one more little Phillips screw, which is right here. It's hidden. See what my finger is? It is right here. I apologize if the lighting isn't sufficient. Day, light, and uh, darkness is darkness doesn't mix. But, Right there it is. See right there? So let me get a screwdriver. Go ahead and get this out. Hold the camera steady, Nathan. There we go. Listen, this one's kind of long, so let me see if I can grab it there without dropping it. All right, there it is. All right, that's out. And now we should be able to just pull up on this whole panel. Just kind of grab it and pull up. And be careful because if you have a light in the door, we have to unhook this light. So go ahead and try to get this up. There we go. All right. And make sure your lock is down. It just makes it easier to get over that. Okay, now that's okay where it's at. Now we got to pop this panel off right here, this glass cover. There's a couple little Phillips screws in here that we have to take out. And once we get these out, this whole panel will come off. So let me set the camera down for that. Okay, now we gotta take this little screw out. Now this is a little tiny Torx bit screw. Sometimes I use Phillips, sometimes I use Torx bits. I don't know, this is a uh, T15. Is it a T15? Yeah, it says T15. So once we get this out, and you gotta be careful, the door panel will probably, probably try to fall. And this is a pretty long screw because it has to go in quite a ways into the door to get into the frame. <laughs> you can see how long it is? Jeez. All right. It's about a two-inch little screw. And now we'll, we can go ahead and pick up on this panel a little bit. Okay. And there will probably be some glass falling. And there is that wire that I have to take off, which is right there. And uh, I'm probably going to have to set the camera down in order to do that. So let me go ahead and hook that wire real quick so we don't end up breaking it. All right, and there's that. Uh, basically, if you just turn this and unscrew it, it'll pop right out. And just kind of let it hang. And if you want, you can take the bulb out. But uh, be careful, it's going to be hot. All right, now, so all we got to do now is pull some of this stuff back here. And here is this plug. And uh, I don't think the mirror plug is going to be the same, but that's okay. Like I said, we'll get another mirror later. But we need something on here now to be able to drive it. But at least you have some idea how to get in here and take this mirror out in case you have to change yours. Now, we got to get in here and take out these three screws. Well, actually, they're studs, but they're nuts. We have to, there's nuts here on these studs, so we have to take these um, little nuts off. And I believe they are 10 millimeters, so let me get a 10 millimeter socket there. Okay, now I've already taken two of the three out, and here comes the last one. And these are uh, these uh, actually are seven sixteenths, but I believe also a thirteen millimeter socket will work. And there that one is. And there's all three of them kind of sitting there. And now this mirror will just kind of slide off. Get out here, pull it off a little bit. And that is it. <laughs> That's how it comes off basically. Now let's go in here and you got your wiring harness here that you have to disconnect and I will have to set the camera down in order to unhook this uh, wiring harness that's uh, too bad that's, uh, that would be awesome if that uh, light would have worked on here because that would have been they would have loved that that little turn signal there so uh, I don't think it'll work but let me go ahead and uh, we'll unhook this we'll bolt the mirror on and we'll see if this will actually even plug in All right, so now I got the mirror on, and as you can see, it's a perfect fit. 
and uh, unfortunately the plugs are different so um, you can see this plug is a little different from that plug it's not going to plug in so um, that's the way it goes and here is the other plug if I hold them up here you can probably see the difference in them see they are a little different but that's okay because these mirrors are still uh, worth something actually um, these may be a sought out maybe a sought after uh, type of a mirror with that light like that for the 2000 models but uh, all I have to do now is go ahead and put these uh, nuts back in one down here and uh, one here tighten it up and um, go ahead and put the door panel back on and the cover and that's basically all you have to do at least now you know how to do this if you uh, rip off your mirror and uh, all that let me just kind of there we go all right so uh, that's on and just when you go out and buy these mirrors just double check and uh, make sure it's the same model and all that the only reason i stuck this on here is because we could not find any other mirrors around here and it looks like i'll probably have to go on ebay and order a couple probably for the same price but i can still resell these so i'm not gonna lose any money so all you have to do is like i said hook your wire up put your cover panel back on here and you are basically done and i'm not going to show you how to put it back together because obviously you know how to put it back together if you're taking it apart and here's a look at the back of it and like i said once you get all those screws and stuff out you got these clips here that kind of hang down this was uh, this kind of what is uh holding this panel onto the door then you put your little screws and stuff back in and it makes it nice and secure and you can see there's one hole and there's a one there one here and one right there and that's basically how that door panel kind of rests on there so uh there you go so i thought i'd make a quick video i'm gonna go ahead and start putting this windshield and the uh side glass in here and i will make another video here in a little bit so uh there you go that's how you install a mirror on a 2000 expedition and like i said make sure you have three options you have one with no heat you have one with the heated mirror that'll have the squiggly lines in it or it'll just say heated or you'll have the heated one with the uh, turn signal and I don't think uh, you'll get a turn signal uh, on, the, on the other two models like this it's probably going to be uh, a luxury model or something so do your research so there you go guys so thanks for watching and uh, I will talk to you a little bit later as the uh, weather continues to be pretty nice today